Hey y'all, today I'm coming to you guys with a new healthy hair journey video and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I do the lock method to keep my hair moisturized. Now if you don't know what the lock method is, it is the um, method that you use to basically just moisturize and seal your hair. The L stands for liquid or leave-in, the O stands for oil, and the C stands for cream. Now. Me personally, I don't use the lock method, L-O-C, I use the L-C-O method because that's just what has always worked better for me. So I do the leave-in or the liquid and then the cream and then the oil on top of that to seal all that in. So today I'm going to show y'all how I do that and what I use. Now my hair has been in these twists for like a week or close to a week. Um. All I've been doing is putting on a turban, a scarf, or a beanie. So, but it's getting a little dry. So, it's time to re-moisturize. So, I'm going to show y'all how I re-moisturize. The L that I'm going to be using is just this spray bottle with water in it. I think it still has a little bit of lavender oil in it just for a smell. It doesn't serve any real purpose other than a smell. So, this is my L. The C is this Caraveda creme brulee y'all have seen this a couple of times in my videos where i've done a braid out i've done a wash and go with it so yeah this is the cream and the o which is the oil that i'm going to be using today is the new jamaican black castor oil exotic oil collection by jamaican mango and lime and this is new this is a new mix now i always use jamaican black castor oil like this is one that i have i have the a uh, coconut oil one and I have the regular one but I don't know where it is I couldn't find it but yeah and this one is about gone but this is a new one it has mongogo with cotton tea and it is great for skin nails hair helps to protect against damage moisturizes skin helps diminish appearance of wrinkles and fine lines and you can use it for hair for hot oil treatments or the lock method. <laughs> so yeah, and I know people say you can't use Jamaican black castor oil as a sealant. It's not a sealant, but it worked for me. So I use it. It works fine for me. So I use it for my hair. So yeah. And then they have the four reasons to treat your hair with mongo mongongo oil. It's, it has natural ingredients. It helps to repair damaged hair. It moisturizes, conditions, strengthens, and helps to protect hair. And it moisturizes skin and nails. But I haven't used it on my skin or my nails. Oh, you could use it as the oil cleaning. You know how a lot of people these days are taking their makeup off. Make, taking their makeup off with oil. You can use this oil for that. Now, I haven't used it for that purpose. I might try it out, but I, I stick to a different oil for that because I haven't noticed any adverse effects on my face using it. But I may try this one with the makeup removal. So yeah, that's the one I'm using. I'm going to be using the new Jamaican Mango and Lime Pure Jamaican Black Castor Oil Exotic Oil Collection with the Mongongo with Cotton Tea. So yeah, but the Cotton Tea is for a scent. Ooh. And it does have a nice scent. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be using as my O or my oil. Let's get started. I guess I'll start back here. I'm going to untwist it, separate it a little bit. Like I said, my hair has been twisted up for like a week. So it definitely needs some moisture. Definitely, definitely needs some moisture. I know y'all can't tell how dry it is, but it's a little on the dry side. So yeah, take that out. Spritz it, not soak it. I'm just gonna spritz it with some water. Rub it into my hair, and it's warm water, by the way, not cold, because warm water helps to open up your hair cuticles. So, yeah. So rub that in. Take the Caraveda. Get a little bit. Don't need too much rub it down my hair and I like to just smooth it downward I've noticed that when I do that you know my hair stays a lot smoother and shinier because they say when you do that that it helps to smooth down your cuticles instead of them you know staying up 
and whatnot. So yeah. Then I'm gonna take some of the Jamaican mango and lime new black castor oil. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> Don't need a lot of this at all because this stuff is thick, so a little bit goes a long way. I use very little. Make sure I focus on my ends because my ends are always super dry, just like anybody else. And I'm going to take this little fake denim brush and brush through from root, I mean from tip to root. Move it down a little more and then I'm just going to twist it back up because I don't plan on washing it. I really just want it to moisturize. Oh, it smells so good. Really just wanted to moisturize my hair because it is pretty dry. So, and I want to use this as a hot oil treatment, but it's not wash day yet. So, yeah, twist it up and bam. There you go. On to the next one. Like I said, I just untwist. It is pretty dry, y'all. So it definitely needs this moisture. Untwist. Spritz. Make sure I get my ends and my roots good too, because my roots dry. <laughs> Rub the water in. Take some of the caravata. Just a little bit of that. Start in my ends and then drag it to the top. Try to work it into my ends a little more and then take my oil that's how much I used and really that's not a lot it just looks like that because it started to run down my hand but it's really not a lot rub that in get to my ends brush <laughs> to distribute it all evenly And like I said in my initial video where I said I was starting a healthy hair journey, I haven't been doing anything to my hair. Like I haven't been over manipulating it or anything. I haven't been overly styling it or anything. Like I said, my hair has been twisted up for like a week because I haven't been doing anything to it other than putting a scarf on it or wearing a beanie. And really it's mainly just been a scarf. So because beanies can dry out your hair too unless they sat in line or unless you wear a bonnet underneath it which is what I usually do because none of mine are satin lined so but after I twist this up I'm just gonna keep on rocking my scarves and my beanies and let my hair have a break it looks so good and moisturized so So again, like I said, I untwist it, spritz it with some water, which is my L. Then I take my C, which is this Caravata Creme Brulee, the cream. Put that on. Take my O, which is the Jamaican Mango and Lime P. 
pure black castor oil with mongongo and coconut, coconut cotton tea oil as my sealant. And like I said, I know some people say you can't use uh, Jamaican black castor oil as a sealant, but it works perfectly for me. So, and that's one thing about a hair journey. It has to be your journey, not anybody else's. You got to figure out what works for your hair, what your hair likes, and all of that good stuff. Now, it's fine to take, you know, suggestions from people, but ultimately, you just got to do what works for you. Even if it breaks a natural hair rule or people don't understand it. So, yeah. Like I said, a lot of people say you can't use Jamaican black castor oil as a sealant, but I use it and it works amazingly for me so I'm gonna keep using it <laughs> as a ceiling and I'm just gonna twist it back up because like I said I'm just gonna keep on wearing my my scarves and my beanies because I'm trying to do low manipulation styles or protective styles where I can leave my hair alone and it can flourish so I'm just gonna leave it alone And that's all folks but I think I'm gonna massage some into my scalp too because my scalp needs some love so I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand put it around and get in there so yeah this is my hair all moisturized doing the lock method or in my case the LCO method and like I said this is a new mix from Jamaican mango and lime their black castor oil so far so good it feels like the original one well this isn't the original this is the coconut oil one that I already have but I do have the original one and this feels just as good going on my hair as the other ones but it has a scent to it, it has a it's kind of perfumey, but it's not overwhelming like some products. And it's for skin and nails. So I'm gonna be trying it that way too. But yeah, like I said, this is how I do the LCO method to moisturize my hair. And this is something that I'm starting to do more since I started this healthy hair journey because I'm not even gonna lie. Like beforehand, I would be really lazy with my hair and I would not moisturize my hair until I washed it again. I wasn't, you know, going a couple of days and then re-moisturizing my hair. I would just go until it was time to wash my hair again. But I have been doing the LCO method again since I started my healthy hair journey and I'm noticing a big difference in my hair. It's a lot softer. It's starting to be more moisturized. So yeah, this uh, new Jamaican mango and lime uh, black castor oil is available at select Walgreens and I'm pretty sure you can probably find it at your local beauty supply store too. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video.